Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 64 Draw Lines Using Action Script 3. I'm starting a new FLA, selecting Action Script 3, and pressing OK. Now, the request was how to use Action Script to draw shapes, and I don't know why why someone would do it. I, I don't do it, but I'll pass that information on. We want to start by putting a some kind of a grid on here so we can see what we're doing. So go under uh, view and there's something called the ruler. Click that and here's a, a ruler. And if you look at it, there's a zero axis for my X and there's a zero axis for my my Y. So let's take and draw a line all I do is click here on this ruler and drag and I'm putting this so I can point out this is the my x-axis approximately 100 on my x and click here and drag down and that's approximately 100 on my y I want to create a line that goes from here to here so grab this one here again and there's the point where I want to make my line so I'm just going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to select black I'm just going to put a little mark here and just a little mark here just so that when this when I'm finished we'll see if this works pick up my selection tool select this first frame call this a action script AS and these these two lines I made aren't going to stay there they're just to see if I was on on track I'm going to open the actions panel up and I'm going to type in this code type 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 okay we're going to start off with two forward slashes that's just so that this doesn't get recognized as code and I'm calling this straight horizontal line which I'm going to make down here from 100 to the 200 and the first thing we got to do is create a variable that's because we need to have some some name to call this line for example if I want to make more than one line if I didn't give it a name I wouldn't be able to give it parameters or anything like that I wouldn't be able to write script on it so I'm calling VAR space I'm calling this first line line one capital L I N E one colon it's a shape equals new shape open bracket close bracket semicolon this is what's going to allow me to to make a line in in the code I'm gonna talk about this line one there it is again line one period graphics G R A P H I C S turns blue period line style L I N E S T Y L E small L capital S this by the way is a small G back here on graphics that all turns blue open bracket I'll we'll write this in then we'll talk about it two comma zero x nine nine zero 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 four zeros comma period seven five close bracket semicolon so this is the the nature of the line it's going to be two pixels wide this line is and it's going to have this color so to find colors just come down here and click on one of these two boxes and let's make this a blue line so if I click look on the blue and while I'm on the blue look up here so if I'm on blue now it says zero 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 FF so that's blue so let's go here zero 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 FF so that's the color there's the comma and this is the opacity it's alpha and alpha I think is from zero meaning you can't see it to one which is full alpha so let's make this about a point nine so it's pretty well seen that's going to tell me the line I'm making okay this next line line one period graphics you can copy this little bit here and paste it in period move to small m capital T open bracket right now I just got XC comma YC close bracket semicolon so I'll explain this to you. This is one of the points. You know a straight line is the distance between two points. The shortest distance between two points if it's straight. 
And these are the coordinates for that line. Well, the first point is x is 100 and y is 100. So my x here, my first point is 100. My y is 100. That's that point right there down here at the bottom of my page, down in my picture. That's where move to is called. Then I copied that line and pasted it. It still says line one period graphics, period, line two. Small L, capital T, that turns blue. And this is the other end of the line. So the other end of my line goes up to 200 on the X and 100 on the Y. Now, you could put this value up here and put this value down here. The two and the move are interchangeable it's, as far as I'm concerned. So that's what makes the line. This is what actually puts it on the stage for us. Add child, A-D-D-C-H-I-L-D, -D -D, turns blue, small a, capital C, open bracket, line one again, close bracket, semicolon. So now if we test it, control, test, movie, test, there's my line between those two pencil lines that I put in. So if I go back to here, select that frame one, I can now highlight these and delete those pencil lines. They're gone. Now, let's do a, a vertical line. Let's go back to the main timeline here for a minute. And let's make a vertical line. And let's make it start at the, let's make it on the 300 of the x-axis. 300 on the x-axis and let's have this one go down to there. So the line we're going to make this time, pick up my pencil tool, let's make a line from here to here. Okay, open the actions panel. Let's copy this whole thing. Click on the end, couple enters paste it in. This is going to be a straight vertical line. And this is going to be line two. Line two, line two, line two, line two, line two. We're going to keep the same opacity and the same size and the same color. You can change them if you want. But let's go down here and find our two points. Okay, it's going to start off with the X being 300. So my, my X coordinate here is 300. Right there, it's 300 and it's on the Y, 100. So that stays 100. The other end of it is the X is on the 300 and the Y is on 200. So let's see if this works. And there it is between those two that we made. That's good. Let's go back to the main timeline. And let's delete those two points we have right there. And let's make one more. So let's just pull down a line here down to 300. And let's pull one over here to 500, or approximately. And let's make a line go from, pick up the pencil tool, let's make a line go from here to here. So it's going to be on an angle. Open the Actions panel, copy this. it on the end, a couple double clicks, paste it, straight angled line, A and G, and we have to give it a new name, line three, and let's change this, let's make it a fat line, so let's make it like four pixels, let's pick up a different color, so if I look here, 
again look up here and I'm going to pick up 99000 which is an ugly reddish ugly reddish brown color that's what it looks like it was 99000 so I'm going to go 99 one two three four zero zero and let's make the opacity very low so we can barely see it down the point two all right it started at an x of three an x of 200 and a y of 300 so it's 200 300 is that first one 200 300 so here it's 200 300 and it's going all the way up to the X is 500, 100 is the Y. 500, 100. So this is going to be 500. And this is going to be 100. So now, let's see if this works. It's that uglier color. It's very light because the opacity is low and it's between those two points and let's do one more going the other way so let's copy this click on the end couple enters paste it angle line other O T H E R. this will be number four 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 we'll keep all those parameters the same let's just selection tool and let's go back to the main timeline for a minute let's get rid of those so I'm highlighting them delete them and let's start let's start here which is 200 200 Okay, so let's put that in there for our parameters. 200, 200. Okay. 200, 200 is right here. 200, 200. And let's go down to here, which is 300, 300. Again, I'm not sure why someone would want to do this because you can draw them just with this straight line tool. And let's give it a different color. Let's look yellow. FFF000 is yellow. I'm just going to click it so it looks. It was FFF, I think four Fs, wasn't it? We'll see. And let's make it very bright, like a seven. And let's make it very, very thin, like a one. Control, test movie, and there it is, very thin yellow line. And naturally, I want to get rid of them. Test marks. There's going to be a follow up of this tutorial. It'll be Flash Tutorial 65 Draw Lines Using Action Script 3, Part 2. I'll show you how to draw a square and how to draw a rectangle using this format. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.